Hello, my friends from across the country. Oh, from across the planet. This is the Paul Leslie Hour. You know, one of the true phenomenons in American music is singer, songwriter, entertainer, and recording artist, Jimmy Buffett. Jimmy's an enduring favorite for so many, and one of the kings of fun. A lot of you know that Mr. Buffett was born on Christmas Day, 1946. So, on December 25th, 2021, he'll be turning 75 years young. Well, we've got a very special show for you to enjoy today. And who knows, maybe Jimmy will enjoy it too. This was originally a radio broadcast that debuted on December 25th, 2006, in celebration of Jimmy's 60th birthday. Paul Leslie named the episode, lightheartedly, A Parrot Looks at Sixty. On that radio special, many of Jimmy Buffett's friends and collaborators and co-writers shared a story or just came in to wish him a happy birthday. So what we have for you today, ladies and gentlemen, is all of those well wishes. And it's from quite a list. And you're about to hear them all. Back to back. They include Walter Cronkite, Lucy Buffett, Tina Gullickson, T.C. Mitchell, Sonny Landreth, Michael Utley, Jeff Bridges, Deborah McCall, Will Jennings, Peter Mayer, Heather D. Perry, Matt Benton, Will Kimbrough, Jesse Winchester, Keith Sykes, Robert Greenridge, Doyle Grisham, Roger Bartlett, Josh Leo, Todd Snyder, and Jerry Jeff Walker. Hey, real quick. To keep the Paul Leslie Hour going, I want you to do this. Visit www.thepaulleslie.com slash support and pull the lever. And thank you to everyone who's contributing. We hope you enjoy listening today. Wishing everyone a Merry Christmas and a happy 2022. And Mr. Buffett, thanks for all the great songs and all the incredible fun. And happy birthday, sir. Now, I'll hand the reins over to Paul Leslie. Thank you, Dan, and thank you to everyone who is tuning in. I'm sure you're a fan of Jimmy Buffett. I'm going to get right into it. This was one of the first birthday greetings I recorded from the most trusted man in America, the late Walter Cronkite. Hello, Jimmy. It's like you to double up on all the congratulations. You've got a birthday and Christmas all in one day, and we wish all the occasions to be happy this year and every year for you. It's great you're turning 60, which to all of us, means at least another 60 years of flying and sailing and, well, trying to keep up a a tune with you. Next up, entrepreneur and Jimmy Buffett's sister, Lucy Buffett. Hi, Paul. Lucy Buffett here. I may be a little late. Things have been a little bit hectic, but in case I'm not, I will um, give this little birthday greeting to Jimmy. Hey, Bubba, it's Lulu and... um, I sure did enjoy your uh, West Indies salad again. It uh, got, it didn't make it to Aspen. I think age is a, a matter of mind, so I'm glad that you're still about 12, because that makes me a lot younger. Happy birthday, happy 60, if you mean the world to me. Love you. Bye. Jesse Winchester has since passed on, sadly. He was one of the all-time greats as a singer and songwriter. This is Jesse Winchester, and I want to wish Jimmy Buffett a very happy birthday. We all know what a great writer and performer you are, Jimmy, but I want everybody to know what a kind heart you have. God bless, buddy, and happy birthday. We love you. Bye-bye. Some of you remember T.C. Mitchell, who was Jimmy Buffett's saxophone player for a number of years, and a great guy. Hey, Jimmy, this is T.C., uh, calling to wish you a wonderful day on your on your special day, and uh, may the next sixty years be even more 
more magnificent than the last 60 have been. <laughs> Spend the day with the one you love the most, and that it goes wonderfully. That's it. I love you, man, and uh, talk to you one of these days, wherever you are. Happy birthday. Recorded at the Georgia Theater, singer-songwriter Todd Snyder. Jimmy Buffett, all that shit you said to me, it makes sense more and more every year. This is Todd Snyder thanking you for that break. God love you. Have a happy birthday, old timer. We got a couple letters from people wishing Jimmy Buffett a happy birthday. One was from his lead guitarist, Peter Mayer. He said, Jimmy, happy 60th birthday from one Beatle lover to another. Thanks for all the memories and good years. And as far as the music business, teaching me to come in through the bathroom window. From singer-songwriter Marshall Chapman. Jimmy, this is Marshall Chapman calling, Coral Reefer, class of 1987, wishing you a happy 60th birthday. We're right behind you, and you will not be alone for long. But some of the happiest times I've had in my life were as a Coral Reefer and being in your circle. And I want to thank you for all the great memories and times and Thank you for always believing in me as an artist, and I wish you good health and continued success and happiness, and I send you my love. Bye. He also heard from Robert Greenwich. He said, hey, Jimmy, happy 60th birthday and wishing you the best and enjoy the rest of your life in style as usual. Happy birthday. From slide guitarist Sonny Landreth. Hey, Jimmy, this is Sonny. Man, if you wouldn't mind, I'd like for you to tell me what the view looks like in a few days at the plateau of the big 6-0. In terms of elevation, I guess I'm only about four years behind you, but I can get an idea of what I'm in for. I figure we'll rock on past 100, so we still have a long way to go before we're both over the hill. Anyway, it's a triple whammy, my friend. Merry Christmas, happy birthday, and happy New Year. We also heard from Mike Utley, who is down in Mexico and couldn't call. He said, wish Jimmy the best for me. Tell him to keep on rocking and never grow up. From singer-songwriter Keith Sykes. This is Keith Sykes, and I want to wish Jimmy a happy birthday on his birthday, December 25th, 2006. And I'd like to play Banana Republic. It's one of my favorite Buffett songs. It was written by Steve Goodman, and it's just a fantastic song. When I think about it, I think about what good friends Jimmy and Steve were. And also, I can just close my eyes, and I'm down there in St. Bart's at some little bar where Jimmy comes through the crowd with a bottle of champagne and a slice of pizza with a big smile on his face. So happy birthday, Jimmy Buffett. Talk to you soon. Bye. This one is from former Coral Reefer dancer Heather D. Perry. Okay, let's see. This is HDP, Heather D. Perry. I am calling for J.B., Mr. Jimmy Buffett. On this Christmas holiday, Hanukkah holiday, Feliz Navidad, whatever is going on in this world, whatever kind of holiday you're celebrating, I just want to say happy birthday, and I'd like to tell a little story. <laughs> when I started about nine years ago, almost got fired my first week from a Broadway choreographer that just did Broadway on a Jimmy Buffett concert with really cool fun parents. But you know what? We stuck through it, and I went on a plane ride with you, and we remember that plane ride, don't we? <laughs> with the whole band bumping and screaming, and I loved every moment of it. All the, the stage shows we did, all the things we did in Hawaii, everything we did, it was a blast. I had a ball. I had a ball meeting all the fans. You are a mess, M-E-double-F mess. Jimmy Buffett, we love you. I love you. And thank you so much, and I hope you have a wonderful birthday. From singer-songwriter Will Kimbrough, recorded at Eddie's Attic in Decatur, Georgia. Happy birthday, Jimmy Buffett. You're a good man. You've been a good friend to me, and this is one of my favorites. It's called He Went to Paris. Congratulations, old man. From Coral Reefer, Doyle Grisham. Hey, Jimmy, uh, this is Doyle. I just wanted to take a moment and wish you a happy birthday. Sixty years? God, I didn't know you were so old. Well, you know, you know, actually, if I try real hard, I can remember being 60. 
Okay, I just want to wish you a happy birthday and have a good one, and I'll see you soon. From Coral Reefer Emeritus, Josh Leo. This is ex-Coral Reefer Josh Leo, and I'm calling to say that I have many, many good memories of being around Jimmy through the years. But I think the one I'd like to share is when our good friend Steve Goodman was on his last lap. We were on uh, tour, and Jimmy got a call that Goodman was in a coma. He was going to go real soon. And he called me in my room and asked me if I uh, wanted to fly with him up to the hospital to play a song or two for Steve. Now, years earlier, I had some health problems myself, and Steve had called me and kind of coached me through my chemotherapy, and Jimmy knew that. And so I was really touched when he asked me to go with him on the jet. When we got there, it was pretty bad. Steve was hooked up to all these tubes and wires and the ventilator was making him breathe. And we pulled out our guitars to play and started tuning and tuning and tuning and tuning. Here's where the story gets a little fuzzy for me, so I hope I get it right. But I believe it was Jimmy who said, if you don't, hurry up and tune, he's going to die already, and uh, everybody had a big laugh, and, well, last year I got a call from a guy writing a book about Goodman, who asked me about the story, except he had heard that Goodman actually said, hey, tune already before I die, which obviously he couldn't say, but anyway, Jimmy, thanks for uh, taking me on that trip, and thanks for the Six years, he took me along as a coral reefer. Had I known you were going to be this big, though, I probably would have stayed around a lot longer. Happy birthday, buddy. From Jim Moose Brown, the co-writer of It's Five O'Clock Somewhere. Hey, Jimmy. This is Jim Moose Brown calling from Nashville, Tennessee, wishing you a happy, happy birthday. And I want to thank you for your great songwriting talents. I want to thank you for your great artistry as a singer and a showman. But more than anything, I'd like to thank you for the kindness that you've shown me. And I wish you many, many, many more birthdays ahead of you. And happy birthday. Remember, it's 5 o'clock somewhere. From Coral Reefer vocalist Tina Gullickson. Ho, ho, ho. Merry Christmas and happy birthday, Jimmy, from your uh, Reeferette, Tina. And I hope everybody's out there having fun in the sun. And I just wanted to wish very best holiday greetings to everybody and Jimmy, you're the best. See you later. Bye-bye. From the original Coral Reefer, Roger Bartlett. Hey, Jimmy. It's Roger Bartlett. Just wanted to wish you a happy birthday and thank you for all the wonderful times we had together. From that first gig at the Troubadour opening for Hoyt Axton and uh, the time that you put me and Roxy in the same hotel room. I'm just sorry I and make the most of that. <laughs> that crazy time we had in Key West putting the band together to letting me sit in with you at the MGM Grand in Las Vegas. You the man. Happy birthday. Many more to come. Bye. This next one is from Matt Benton. He was Jimmy Buffett's drummer in the 1980s. He also co-wrote some great songs with Buffett, including Merry Christmas, Alabama. A gift for Jimmy Buffett. Hmm, that's tough. A month of anonymity might be appreciated. All I have to offer, though, is more praise, of which he has sufficient. But here goes anyway. The one thing that defines Jimmy for me is his loyalty. He looks out for his own, his family, friends, his employees, and his fans, too. I'll never forget the night he told the audience in the middle of a show back in the 80s, I promise to spend your money foolishly. And he has remained loyal to that promise, doing the adventurous, the foolish, the overindulgent, the slightly insane, all within the bounds of the law, of course. I played drums with Jimmy during the 80s and have written several songs that he has, in loyalty to me, recorded. When he changed bands in 1989, his dad spoke to me after my last show and said, Don't worry, Jimmy always takes care of his people. I can attest to the truth of that. One of the songs I wrote for Jimmy that he didn't record, though, is the subject here. 
What you will hear is the demo, almost 20 years old now. The song takes the form of Jimmy's acceptance speech on the imaginary occasion of his inevitable induction into the fictitious Alabama Academy of Calypso. It's called No One Escapes From Me and celebrates this deeply entrenched loyalty of his. He is a well-bred boy and a credit to his mom and dad. Happy birthday from Matty Dread to you, JB. This next one is with lyricist Will Jennings, one of the greatest songwriters ever. Will wrote quite a few songs with Jimmy Buffett in the 80s. Jimmy Buffett, he is a one-of-a-kind fella, one-of-a-kind entertainer. He's uh, He created a kingdom, and he lives in it very well, and he's uh, attracted millions and millions of people to to the magic kingdom that he and his band present every time they play a a date. It was uh, one of the high points of my songwriting musical life to have spent off and on a year or two in uh, Margaritaville in St. Bart's and in Key West. And uh, Jim and Mike Utley and I and some other collaborators came up, I think, with some very good songs. Jim, I've seen... uh, He's come to Santa Barbara over the past couple of years, and I've seen him and Mike and the crew, and uh, I think they're ageless. I think he's ageless. I think birthdays are irrelevant. But anyway, happy birthday, Jim. Bye. This next one was from Jerry Jeff Walker. I'm so sorry that he's gone, the late Jerry Jeff Walker, one of the greats in American music and a longtime friend of Jimmy Buffett's. Well, I understand we're celebrating Jimmy Buffett's 60th birthday party, or 60th birthday year. This is Jerry Jeff Walker. Hello. I never thought I'd live long enough to see you live this long, old buddy. How we weren't ever going to live to be 60. We weren't even going to live to be 40. But I'm sure glad we have, and you've stayed a true friend through all the years, pal. So, happy birthday. This last one is somebody who makes everyone smile. I'm talking about actor, musician, all-around artist Jeff Bridges. He was in a movie with Jimmy Buffett many years ago. Some of you may have seen Rancho Deluxe. Well, here's Jeff Bridges. Hey, Jimmy. Jeff Bridges here. Happy birthday, man. 60 years old. Amazing. Amazing. Congratulations. Birthdays are a good thing. Yeah, they're good for us. The more we have, the longer we live. I love you, James. Happy birthday, man. Hope to see you soon. Talk to you, man. Bye-bye. And I guess there's just one more. Me. Jimmy Buffett, I hope you have a very happy birthday, sir. And everyone out there, Merry Christmas. And I wish you all a very happy 2022 and i hope to bring more interviews and reviews to you all thanks so much for checking out this show bye-bye thank you for stopping by today if you enjoyed our program consider telling a friend about it the paul leslie hour is made possible through people just like you so you want to keep the show going right go to the paulleslie.com that's thepaulleslie.com Click on Support the Show and thanks to everyone who contributes. Performance of the intro music is courtesy of John Primerano, The Entertainer, written by Scott Joplin. End credit theme music is courtesy of John Primerano, the traditional song Corina Corina. Your announcer is Dan Gold. Hey, that's me! The show is hosted and produced by Paul Leslie. And we'll see you next time on the Paul Leslie Hour.